بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الأخوة والأخوات الطلاب والطالبات أرحب بكم وأقدم لكم درس جديد في منهج ميجا جول 2 وتحديدا الدرس الحادي عشر في صفحتي 92 و 93 uh, إن شاء الله guys we are going to cover the uh, parts on page uh, 92 and 93 which is form meaning and function as we usually do let us um, go over the title of this uh, part of the unit and then inshallah we'll do something about the other topics so form meaning and function and in, in, in learning language and in, uh, st in structure and making sentences we have to know what's the meaning of form and what's the meaning of the meaning of course and function so the form is is related to the form of the the, the sentence of the word how we can make a sentence using some uh, parts of a speech or some words in different tenses uh, meaning the meaning of each part of this sentence what's the meaning of this word what's the meaning of this part of a speech what's the meaning of for example such a thing and how we can use them the function is the way we use the, the, these words and parts of the speech. So we have to have something about this first. Then we, inshallah, going to cover different topics. The first topic is words connected with environment and the natural disasters. Let us first break out the, 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 the meaning of these or this title, which is environment and the natural disasters. Environment is, is for example, the, 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 the place where you live, the place where you find different things, and of course the, 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 uh, the place where you uh, can have different um, items related to uh, something uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the top. For example, this class is an envir environment, which is a smart environment that has this board, which is smart board. We have computers, we have cameras, we have uh, different items that related to the class or the smart class. We also have the, the sea environment which actually uh, includes uh, fish and other uh, fishery uh, creatures. We also have the, 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 the desert uh, environment which actually includes of uh, different uh, things related to, to uh, to this uh, environment. So this is the meaning of uh, environment. Environment and natural disasters. Natural disasters. Natural disaster means الكوارث الطبيعية. Okay. We, 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 we all have or we all know that uh, natural disasters happened in different parts of the world. For example, الزلازل. Okay. البراكين. الأعاصير. All these تعتبر أنها كوارث طبيعية تحدث في أماكن مختلفة من العالم. So this is the meaning of natural disasters. Of course, إن شاء الله we'll we'll go over of the words that related to natural disasters. Some words that were commonly used when we talk about environmental problems and natural disasters are. Let us go over them. We have global warming. Global warming is الاحتباس الحراري. Okay, uh, I, I, I'm sure that you, you, you have done something about this in geography and other scientific uh, topics or subjects. So this is Al-Hitabas Al-Hilari, which is the, the, the most important issue uh, now in the world. Most of the governments and research centers, universities, colleges, the, the, the academia field uh, interested in this and trying to find solutions to end up this problem, which is a very big problem. Uh, it's actually um, taking a lot of our uh, planet and of course it affects our planet by all means. So global warming, الاحتباس الحراري, erosion, erosion is الانفجارات, okay. Water, air pollution, air pollution, التلوث, تلوث الهواء, okay. We all know that air is polluted by different things. For example, the, the, the cars, the, the airplanes, the, the uh, factors, industrial uh, factors, all these parts um, polluting the, the, the air. Uh, water pollution. Water pollution is something uh, very important nowadays because uh, some parts of the country don't have the, 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 the pure or the net water, so they, they 
they want to to reduce the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the level of uh, water pollution in different parts of the world, especially in the poor countries. Uh, overfishing, overfishing means Sayyid al jar Actually, this is in the uh, uh, fishing of fish. Okay, and of course we uh, we have something else in other uh, environments. Uh, deforestation, deforestation. Okay, flood, flood. السيول والشغلات اللي مثل كذا. Earthquake, زلازل. Tornado. Okay. Tsunami. Tsunami is one of the uh, very, very, very uh, massive um, disaster that actually happened to uh, countries, especially in North Asia. Okay, uh, you know, affected by this uh, 10 years or 15 years ago, Japan, Indonesia, and other parts of uh, the, the, the world. Um, we have volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption, البراكين وآثارها. Forest fire, حرائق الغابات. Actually, this is very, very um, uh, famous in Australia. And uh, three months ago, Australia was one of the uh, most countries that affected by uh, forest uh, fire. And actually, uh, people, houses, uh, animals, different creatures affected by a uh, first fire uh, so this is the first fire we have damage okay damage we can uh, damage can be in different parts of the environment it can be in in in, 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 in uh, different parts of the uh, environment threaten threaten is to tahdeed of course uh, global warming is threatening the world rescue is to save Okay, it's to, it's to have someone or something safe. Himaya, okay, protect also. Himaya, okay. Uh, het, research, okay. So all these words related to uh, natural disasters connected to the environment and natural disasters. So you have to know them. News reporter Al Gore said that there were many who still did not believe that global warming was a problem. The Japanese fishing industry assured the media they were fishing whales for research purposes. So, so the Japanese fishing industry assured, okay, أكدوا للميديا الإعلام that they were fishing and هم كانوا يصطادون الحيتان whales for research. Purposes. لأغراض بحثية وليس فقط للأصياد إذن هم يستخدمونها ويأخذونها للأغراض البحثية لعمل أبحاث عليها The National Weather Service has reported that a tornado will hit the west coast at 4 p.m. today So the National Weather Services اللي هي هيئة الأرصاد الوطنية أكدت أنه التورنيدو أو الأعصار okay, will hit the west coast الساحل الغربي so this is something about the, the, the words connected with the environment and natural disasters. Now we'll go to another part of the for meaning and function, which is negative questions. Negative questions. First of all, guys, uh, l l let me talk uh, a little bit about the, 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 the making of sentences in English. So the English sentence basically contains of subject, verb, object. The subject can be a noun, for example, Ahmed, Khalid, uh, Mark, Peter, and of course it can be uh, one of the nouns around us, for example, uh, glasses, thobe, uh, shamar, room, house, home, car, all these are nouns, can be used as subjects. Then we have what we call the, the, the verb, which is the, 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 the uh, it's, it's either a helping verb or Main verb. We have main verbs in English. We have, for example, touch, talk, speak, ride, go, come. All these are main verbs. Uh, and of course, it can be in different tenses. It can be in, 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 in uh, progressive, it can be in perfect, and of course, it can be used widely in the sentences. And the last part of the sentence is the object. So this is the, the general uh, speaking or the general form of of the uh, English sentence and of course we can have details in the in the sentence itself we can have adjectives we can have adverbs we can have 
many parts of speech within the sentence, but generally speaking, the sentence contains of subject, verb objects. So this is a, an introduction to, to, to go over this part, which is the negative questions. In English, we make questions by using the question words, for example, why, how, what, where, all these are question words. For example, we can say, what is your name? How old are you? Why you were absent? All these used to make a sentence actually started by, by a question word. And here, in this part, we, we, we are going over the negative questions. Also, in English, we, we have affirmative and negative. The affirmative, the affirmative form, for example, I am a teacher of English. He is a cameraman. They are working together. So this is a affirmative form or way of making sentences. We can make this negative by adding the, the word not to the to the sentence. Of course, it's followed by the, the, the verb. For example, I am not a teacher of English. He is not working as a cameraman. They are not doing their job. So we, we use not after the verb to make this sentence as a negative. And here we'll, we'll work with question words. Of course, we use, we use the negative questions to, to assure that this information provided in the question itself is more reliable, is more accurate. This is the, the reason or the purpose why we use the, 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 the negative questions. We can use negative questions to check information or express surprise. So let us go over this question. Isn't there something we can do? So, aren't you going to help? Don't you want to know what happened? Haven't you seen the news? Didn't you ask them about the damage? Weren't you there to offer support? So, as you see here, we, we started the, the negative question by uh, put the, the verb or the helping verb at the beginning, and then we, we have apostrophe, okay, apostrophe, and then we have uh, the, 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 the letter T, which actually stands for not. So, we have to use this, this form to make a negative question. Uh, actually, it can be at the end of the, the sentence, or at, it can be as it is in here. So, as plus not, are plus not, do plus not, have plus not, did plus not, were plus not. So, this is the way we can make negative questions. Let's now move to other part of this slide. Uh, of course, here we have some of the exercises. You can do this after, uh, after the class. You can do this at home. Uh, for now, let's, let's go over the other part of this lesson, which is relative adverbs, uh, specifically where. So, in, in this part, inshallah, we are going to cover the relative adverb, which is where. That the school where I attended as a child. So here we have relative adverb. We, we, we have to know that a sentence, as I said earlier, contains of subject, verb, object, okay? And the relative adverb also contains of the, the, the adverb, which is where, and uh, verb and object. When we say adverb, we mean either adverb of time or adverb of place. So here, inshallah, we're focusing on the adverb of time or place. Okay, we're talking about adverbs here, the roof or the situation, the place, the time, the place, the time. That's the school where I attended as a child. Dubai is the place where I want to go on vacation. That's a place where I grew up. Home is where the heart is. So. Here we used the, 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 the adverb, which is where, okay, in a sentence. So we, we, we made a sentence that actually included the, the adverb, which is where. So that's the school where I attended as a child. So we used where here. And then we have different examples. Let's now have examples. For example, this is the place where I teach. That's the place where my brother uh, for example, met his, his uh, colleague. Uh, this is the, 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 the room where I was studying uh, for the exam. So you can use where to, to mention something related to places or uh, time a little bit. 
Okay, guys, let's now go over the indirect questions. If you still remember, in the last lesson, we discussed the direct speech and indirect speech. We discussed also the direct uh, um, questions and indirect questions. We said that the direct speech is something that, for example, uh, I am a teacher of English. So this is direct speech. When we want to make this speech indirect, we have to use some steps to make this sentence indirect. For example, we said that we have to use the verbs, for example, ask, say, and it's past form, for example, said or asked, to, to, to make this sentence uh, indirect. For example, the sentence I, I gave you earlier, uh, I am a teacher of English. We can, for example, we can, for example, make this make this as a, a indirect uh, speech by saying, the teacher said that he is a teacher of English. So this is the indirect uh, speech. And here, of course, we have the indirect question. We use indirect questions when you ask for information. There is no inversion of the subject and verb and indirect questions. So this is the purpose of using indirect speech, which is when you ask about the information. Direct question, what is the name of the street? Where is the nearest bank? When does the store open? Where can I get good pizza? So all these are direct questions. We want to move them or to change them into indirect questions. Do you know what the name of the street is? Do you know where the nearest bank is? Do you know when the store opens? Could you tell me where I can get good pizza? So we used do you know in all three sentences and then we used could in, in the last sentence to make the indirect questions. We have expressing agreement with so, neither, either, two. Here we have one, two, three, four words that actually used in, in, in uh, speaking and writing too. So we have to know a little bit about them. We use them widely. Use so and to when you agree with an affirmative statement. So put this in your mind. We use so and neither when we, when we agree with an affirmative statement. And we use neither and either when you agree with a negative statement. So, so. And, 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 and neither used with affirmative, while either and two used with negative. Uh, let's go over these examples. I ate at the new pizza restaurant. So did I. I did too. I will visit my family on the weekend. So will I. I will too. The negative, I don't know the, the answer. Neither do I. I don't either. I want or I will not go to school tomorrow. Neither will I. I will not either. So this is the, 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 the part that we discussed about the expressing of argument with so, neither, either, too. We have the last part. We have the last part, which is actually the, the exercises related to expressing agreement, expressing agreement with, uh, and of course, indirect questions and relative adverb where. That's all for today, guys. Thank you very much.